Hello everyone, welcome back to your channel. If you're visiting the channel for a very first time, then this is my small introduction. I'm thankful for each and every member because it's just you and only you who is helping me and this channel to grow. I thoroughly enjoy learning and sharing Salesforce knowledge with you. Please keep watching, sharing and motivating others to subscribe to your channel. Let's start with today's topic. So today, you know, we are going to talk about the one of the very important topic and uh, that is the sharing rule. As you can see, uh, this sharing rule topic is very important because uh, it's a, a very general requirement to share the records from, uh, with, you know, the uh, of one user to another user. And we have seen the OWD in a previous session role that too we have seen in the previous sessions and uh, this there are some you know the limitation and the best practices and we always said to use the other means of the sharing of the records so this is you know the uh, the one of the mechanism we use to uh, you know the, uh, the give the accessibility of the records uh, to a user or a group of users now when I say the sharing tool, and in this session, you know, the uh, I will be uh, taking uh, the consideration that you know the there might be some audience which are not aware about the sharing rules. So I will be taking from the scratch, and will try to you know to give the uh, the best understanding through this video. So sharing rule means the giving the accessibility of the records owned by a user to a another user or a group of users. So let's say we have the opportunity object here and this opportunity object, uh, I mean, some of the records of the opportunity object is owned by our user X. This, you know, the, I mean, the user X, which is uh, owning few of the opportunity records, uh, due to some business requirement need to share the records to the user y so here what the admin will do will create a sharing rule and through that it is possible this is the upper you know the or you can say the layman uh, language understanding of the sharing rule now sharing rule we create on an object and uh, we have the two types either we can you know the uh, i mean we can share based on the ownership of the records or when a certain criteria met then our sharing rule should work when i say the owner based sharing may rule so this is one of the example where you know the, we are sharing the records based on the owner. And when I say the criteria based sharing rule, so let's say, uh, just for uh, understanding, let's say, you know, the uh, if your lead status becomes hot, so that particular lead should be shared to a, to a user or a group of users. Now, when I'm talk continuously, you know, the saying the, the, uh, the group of users, group of users, so Salesforce maintains the some, you know, the community specific uh, groups and that I can, you know, the show you here. So from the setup, I, you know, the, the type here in the quick find sharing setting. And then I am here in this page. And as I said, uh, I'm, I'm taking the example of opportunity. So let's click on the new. So this is, you know, the way we create the sharing rule. I will, you know, the, uh, the, uh, give you the understanding with the, uh, the examples. I will be taking, you know, the, uh, the few examples in the, in the session. So, uh, talking about, you know, the, the groups, which I'm saying, so portal role, portal role and subordinate and uh, role internal and portal subordinate. See the name itself, you know, this says a lot about these groups, but for you know, the understanding, let me, you know, the, uh, the tell you when about, when we talk about the specific portal roles, now 
you remember we talked about the the rows the you know the uh, let me you know the show you uh, let me duplicate this window so that you know you can recall what i am uh, though we have discussed this thing in the previous video but then also uh, it happens so let me bring the cancel here and uh, uh, okay user let it be open okay so you can see here role okay so you can see the role here remember now acl partner manager partner user part right i i i have you know the explained you in the previous video where we we, uh, we i mean by default we do not you know they the give the uh, the role to a uh, to a external user salesforce you know they gives a uh, the uh, a role but you have the flexibility where you can you know the uh, if you will change the number of you know the the uh, the portal role or community role from one to two or three so you get the hierarchy so this you know the role i'm talking about so if you are specifically uh, you know the we're going to talk about the portal role for example uh, see here so if you are selecting acl partner manager that means you are only talking about the the all the users which are or which have the acl partner manager as role you are only targeting these user but when you select the portal role and subordinate it will also include the you know uh, i mean all subordinates below this particular role so this role plus your subordinate roles executive and user if you are if you have not you know the uh, uh, seen that video i will request you to you know to please uh, see that video and i will also put the link of this you know, the video of the uh, where i have talked about the role in a description and when i talk about the role internal and the my portal subordinates so the, here we also take the consideration of internal roles see you got the internal roles as well right correct okay now this sharing rule works for the the two licenses only that is the uh, the customer community plus and the partner community license okay now flexibility you know the and the one of the best thing which uh, you know the most of time people uh, think about and this is the one of the you know the best thing which you get by sharing rule is you can share the guest user records to your internal user and vice versa correct interesting now let's see one of the example for you know the uh, to understand uh, the sharing main based on your uh ownership of the record okay so as you know that each guest user or a community user will have a account okay so this can also be say uh, uh, said as community may rule using an account okay now
So my scenario is, I have the account and uh, just give me a minute. Let me see. So, um, what I have. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So my scenario is I want to give access of opportunities. This is I'm typing because you know you can uh, you know sometimes you can pause it or you can you know note it down for your so to give access of opportunity owned by the partner user, which is our external user from Wipro to to partner manager of HCL because we uh, just you know the uh, saw that there we have we already have the uh, some of you know the uh, the HCL uh, uh, users with the uh, the manager role right so now very first thing I mean this is the requirement you understood we are sharing the Wipro for I mean let me create like this. We are sharing, we have the, the account Wipro. In this, we have the, our partner user. Okay. Partner user could be you know, one or two or, you know, I mean, there could be many as well. Okay. So Wipro's, all the partner users, opportunities, we are sharing with we are sharing with ACL partner manager. Okay. So let's say this is the requirement. Now, this could be, you know, the, the, because of any of the, uh, the business need. Uh, maybe, you know, the Wipro uh, uh, had decided that, uh, that you know, the, uh, our, our users will work, but uh, for a review, uh, we, are, we are, you know, taking the help of the SCL's uh, uh, manager, okay? This is an example, okay? This is just an example, not, you know, the, I'm, uh, I'm not, you know, uh, uh, targeting or, you know, the creating, a, uh, you know, the, uh, some uh, genuine scenario. It's a, just a business example, business, uh, you know, the example to understand. So do not please quote me like, you know, anything otherwise. So what is very important is the very first step is, as I said, partner user, partner manager. That means our the users of which for which I am you know going to talk about whether the user owning the record or to whom we are sharing, both of them should have role. So check it. Okay, and I have shown you that how you can you know the check like the uh, the role. Okay. Now the second thing is. So this is the very first step. Okay. The second thing is same way you will go in the setup sharing setting. And then, you know, the way we have, uh, you know, the, uh, uh, we have landed into the opportunity sharing rule by clicking new. So here we have, you know, the label and the rule name. So when we will put the label, uh, rule name will automatically come. Okay, so sharing with pro uh, 
opportunity okay this is the just for understanding uh, i mean if, uh, in the future if i if i will review it uh, i will get the idea okay now select your rule type i will i am selecting here the record owner because i am not mentioning any criteria i am sharing all the wipro partner users opportunity to the acl partner manager okay so now having said that i am only you know the sharing to the acl partner manager so the portal role i am using the acl partner manager okay now select which record to be shared so this is asking about which record you want to share so i am going to talk i am going to you know the put here as wipro partner manager okay so why because the i am saying that you know the uh, my all the the uh, the you know the opportunities owned by the wipro should be shared to the the uh, the manager of acl okay so the select which record to be shared opportunity owned by members of portal role and subordinate so the all the opportunities owned by the manager executive and the user this is the hierarchy we have right will be put here and to whom i am going to share i am going to share with acl manager okay what kind of access i want to give i want to give the read only or read write so let's say read and write okay and save very easy okay now the task i mean for this example the task you all will be creating it and you all will be verifying it and in case again you have any problem you have any doubt you will be putting you will be sending me a email or a or a case comment okay clear so this is our owner based or you can say the account role based sharing rule for the community this is not come this is not you know that we have completed our session yet let's take the second example now when i'm talking about the second example we are going to talk about the second example in terms of the criteria based okay because we have seen the first you know the scenario so let's talk about the criteria based okay okay video will become on the lengthy so i will be uploading the second part of this take it as the part a i will be uploading the second part of this in the part b okay practices and i will be waiting for your responses and then the in the day 11 i will be showing you the second the second mechanism that is of the according to the business use case hope you have enjoyed it stay safe keep learning keep sharing knowledge